Amy Love here and I came on today to share with you this altered egg carton that I created for a swap that I am participating in in my friend Judy's group and I'll put a link to Judy's group below if you're interested in um, joining in in some swaps it's always a good time we have a lot of fun in there so I was excited because I love to alter egg cartons and I was um, even more inspired this year uh, my mom had actually uh, sent me a picture the other day of those um, those sugar eggs they would make at Easter. You know, the ones that are, they're just like all made of sugar. They have icing on them and there's a hole on one end and inside there's a whole like scene. I used to love those. They just make me so happy. So my mom actually... Um, sent me a picture of one and was like, do you remember these? I was like, oh my goodness, yes I do. You know, I don't even know if they still make those, but they're just adorable. I love them. So this was definitely inspired by those sugar eggs. Um, I had purchased a giant egg from Hobby Lobby that I was going to actually make a box out of, but then uh, this came to me and I was like, I'll just do something else with this half. So I attached, um, I of course painted it, and then I attached it to the top of my egg carton that I also painted. And then I decoupaged a napkin, the glare from that light though. I decoupaged a napkin on the top, and then I did stickle around the rose petals because I just think it's so pretty. And then I surrounded the image with some pink rhinestone trim from Angel Dream Crafts. And then I had this pretty pretty lace in my stash that just looks like frosting to me so <laughs> I used it as frosting on my sugar egg and went um, all around the image now it was gonna cover um, the egg in diamond dust so it would be sugary like the sugar egg but then I didn't I didn't <laughs> you know that um, it gets a little pokey and I didn't want it coming all off uh, since I am shipping this to uh, my swap partner so but you know I could maybe sparkle mod podge that so at least it's sparkly I actually might do that I might do that so that's how I did the top then I cut the tip off of the end and I put this little um, digital image in it it was it's um, which I don't know if you can tell what it is but it is actually a carousel horse it's super, super cute. So there's a carousel horse in there. And then I surrounded the opening with uh, more of my frosting lace, just like on the sugar egg. And then I popped on um, a couple of these really pretty flowers. I love them. You can, I think, get them at Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure I got these from Edith. And then I added some seam binding bows and a couple of little sugar candy hearts from Angel Dream Crafts right in the middle of those bows and then I layered up some of my uh, pink laces um, this pink lace here which is just so pretty and then this pink eyelet I love it it's so pretty and I'm pretty sure I got that from Edith also and then more of the frosting lace uh, around the egg and I just love it it's so cute it makes me so happy. I hope my swap partner loves it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So it does open up. Um, part of the swap was to also decorate the inside. So I uh, decoupaged this cute little bunny napkin in there. And then I added some more uh, lace that I thought looked like frosting. And then I added two, two of those cute little flowers in there. And then I, I didn't have a six egg carton. I only had a dozen. So I just cut one in half and then I put some, uh, a piece of one of my lace master boards right here to separate it, to keep it closed. So when I fill it with goodies, everything won't fall out. And there it is. You know, I was so inspired and excited to create this. I today's my day off and I I created this all in one day I mean I was just <laughs> excited and I actually do love the way it turned out I would love it if you would leave me a comment and let me know what you think and I will leave a link to Angel Dream Crafts below and um, to Judy's group and all of my social media um, and my Etsy store link is below too 
And I hope that you are all doing well and that you are finding time to do things that bring you joy. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye, everybody.